Infrastructure as a Service Also referred as IAS Infrastructure as a Service IAS, is a fundamental component of the cloud computing ecosystem. It provides virtualized computing resources over the Internet, allowing businesses and individuals to leverage technology infrastructure without the need for physical hardware. Key characteristics of IaaS include on-demand availability, scalability, and a pay-as-you-go pricing model. These features enable users to dynamically scale their infrastructure based on demand, eliminating the need for substantial upfront investment in hardware and reducing operational costs. Key Components and Architecture of IaaS Infrastructure as a Service IaaS, is a crucial layer of cloud computing that provides virtualized computing resources over the Internet. The key components that form the backbone of IaaS include virtual machines, VMs, storage, networks, and load balancers. Each component plays a vital role in ensuring that the infrastructure is flexible, scalable, and efficient. Virtual machines are the foundational element of IaaS, allowing users to run instances of operating systems and applications on virtualized hardware. These VMs can be easily scaled up or down based on demand, providing a high degree of flexibility. Storage in IaaS is typically offered in various forms such as block storage, object storage, and file storage, ensuring that data can be stored and retrieved efficiently. Networking is another critical component, enabling communication between VMs and other resources. This includes virtual networks, subnets, and IP addressing. Load balancers distribute incoming traffic across multiple VMs to ensure optimal performance and reliability. By managing traffic effectively, load balancers prevent any single VM from becoming a bottleneck, enhancing the overall responsiveness of applications. The architecture of IaaS revolves around virtualization and hypervisors. Virtualization abstracts the physical hardware, allowing multiple virtual instances to run on a single physical machine. Hypervisors, such as VMware ESC, Microsoft Hyper-V, and KVM, manage these virtual instances, allocating resources like CPU, memory, and storage. This architecture ensures that resources are utilized efficiently and can be dynamically allocated based on demand. Let us understand the role and responsibilities of cloud service providers as well as customer and infrastructure as a service. Look at the picture on the screen. There are components that are a part of the infrastructure. On the right, it is an on-premise architecture where all the components are managed by the organization. Now take a look on the left side of the picture. We can find out what is managed by you as a customer and what is managed by the cloud vendor. Components like virtualization, server, storage, and networking is managed by the cloud provider. Being a customer, you need to manage the operating system, middleware, runtime of the virtual machine, data on the virtual machine, and applications to be installed. In summary, infrastructure is like a machine that is provided to you on the cloud, and you need to manage the operating system and applications. That was it for me on IAS. Hope you liked the video. Keep watching, and we will come up with more topics on cloud computing.